I'm Maureen and I'm excited to share another art project with you. This one is called the City Skyline or the Mountain Skyline and it uses line to emphasize the, the um, shapes of the buildings or the mountains within a composition and all I have to use is chalk and two pieces of construction paper and a pair of scissors. I think you'll find this a lot of fun. It's super fast and the results are really cool. Uh, and it just, I don't know, it kind of made my heart sing to look at it and it reminded me of the time that I had walked in the city, especially New York. So I'm going to take you over to my table and I'll show you how to make the city skyline. You're going to need two pieces of construction paper, a black one for the uh, cityscape and another piece for your pattern to that you're going to cut out, scissors, chalk, and a pencil. Now you want to take the various colors of chalk and apply it to the top and the sides of your outline of your cityscape. Uh, you can just decide where you want the colors to go. Make sure the chalk is heavy when you put it on. And now you're going to set that on your black construction paper, probably down low. And you just take your finger and smear it onto black paper. Alright, there's the first layer and then you take the pattern and you start putting it up above the first layer that you have, giving the um, 3D effect of a city that you would see if you were standing across a river or a lake or something from the city. This is what you would see. And I had to re-chalk my pattern a couple times. Giving it a nice three-dimensional effect. And then you're going to see that I'm going to take the little moon that I cut out. And I'll put chalk on that as well. And uh, then you thought about where to put my moon. Uh, put it right up there in that spot around it and then I just added with a piece of white chalk uh, the lights that you would see in the windows of the building and I'll also uh, put the stars in the sky. going to begin the uh, mountain skyline and my mountain line is pretty simple going from a low point up to a higher point. Cut that out and then I'm going to make we call foothills that will go down in the um, foreground or before the um, mountains. I'm, I'm applying yellow, orange, and green chalk, thinking that those uh, foothills have a little bit of vegetation on them and are more in the earthy colors. And for the mountains in the background, I'm going to choose the blue, purple, and a little bit of green. I want there to be a difference between the foothills and the mountains. I'll place the foothills at the bottom start rubbing the chalk onto the construction paper. You can do this two to three or four times. So you'll have many foothills before you get to the, uh, to the actual mountain range. There's my mountains. And I decided on this one just to um, only do one row of the uh, mountains. Put my moon in. And then I'll place the stars 
with a piece of chalk. Now I think that's a fun piece. 